Hey yo, what up YouTubers? It's your boy Scotty Z coming at you with another EVT video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an EGR cooler on a Cummins ISL 9. The uh, complaint was that uh, the apparatus was going through a lot of coolant. Uh, they were having to add probably a gallon or two every few days. Uh, so typically, you want to check your EGR cooler for leaks. Um, this one was a little bit different. Uh, usually you'll smell it out of the exhaust also. You'll get a real pungent smell. Um, and we weren't getting that. So I first checked the heat exchanger, um, thinking that the coolant was going back through into the pump. Um, but I pulled the lines on the heat exchanger uh, and then I pressurized the system and I had no coolant coming out. So then I started looking at the EGR cooler and sure enough, um, it's leaking. So, and the cooler is a year and a half old, I think. So, um, I didn't really suspect it at first, but I went ahead and checked it, and sure enough. So, let's go drain the coolant. starter on this thing. It's gonna fit. Oh, yeah, it's gonna fit. It'll fit. Alright. Now I'm just opening the uh, radiator drain. We'll go pull the radiator cap, let it breathe a little bit. Try to show you guys what I found on the EGR cooler. So we already got this pull apart bit here. Uh, let me get a flashlight. see there's coolant just dripping out of here all right i'm gonna start by taking the uh, air to air tube off here um we'll pull this boot off the turbo just to give us a little bit more working room here Two cross five over two. Need an extension. Pull this rear tube off. Alright, while we're waiting for our coolant to drain, we'll probably start loosening these coolant lines. So we're going with the um, 916th.
banjo style nut. You always want to replace your banjos every time. I always like to take a picture how everything was oriented. Chances are you won't forget, but chances are you will forget. Especially when you have like drive ups all the time. All the wires in the way. All right, there should be a ten, ten millimeter. Bolt. Pulls this bracket right here on. Down there. My extension's gonna be too long. So I just get on it with a just a socket here. Clamp off. It's basically like a hose clamp. End up using a 3 8 ratchet wrench to get this clamp off. Just like slide it back so I don't lose it somewhere. I'm just gonna fold that out of the way. Then we'll twist it in the in the hose. Oh yeah, see, you gotta pull that bracket off because it covers up two of the bolts. And those are eight millimeters. You know what, they may be seven. Nope, they're eight. the bolts go back to our tunnel here, put them in our tray so we don't lose them. I can pull this out of the way. There's a seal in here. Right here. Um, our cooler comes with a seal kit, I believe. So, Let's see if we can finagle this thing out of here. Uh, miss this step right here. Pull that sucker off. So it's a 13. Uh, eight millimeter up here for the sensor. All right now we'll try to pull it off. We're gonna need to loosen the sensor. Twist it out of the way. Get a line wrench. Pushing the stuff out of the way. 
We got our new EGR cooler here. Part number 5566887. Come. And have. That silk kit. Silk for the EGR exhaust. Silk for there. Silk for there. One thing I didn't come with though, I'm gonna double check here, is uh, banjo fitting. Got the silver there. Two gaskets. Yeah, no banjo fittings. So, I want to keep that in mind if you're ordering a cooler. You need to replace those banjo fittings. So, let me go get some. Well, I found some banjo fittings that I found in my personal stash. I got this kit here too. Uh, they, we need some here. So, start putting this stuff back together. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was difficult. I didn't think I was going to get it open. Wait for you to take it with your teeth. Then your, your dentures will fall out. How do you know I have dentures? Because you've got meth mouth. Meth mouth? Meth, meth heads always have to get dentures because they lose your teeth. Oh, well, I don't do meth, man. Don't lie. I can tell. You can tell. With a face like that? Dang. That's messed up, man. You know, Jared from Subway it has to be messed Jared from Subway has to do meth. Why's that? I just got a little tool over here. Thanks. Where's my red ball? Never mind. Hey man, you, you're, you're there for me when I need you to be. Appreciate that. Do you, uh, do you mind being on YouTube? What's that? Do you mind being on YouTube? What's on YouTube? Are you okay with being on my YouTube channel? Uh, as long as it no fucking horse can get up or I'll find it. No, uh, I might make you sign a consent form. Okay, tell me I'll, uh, I'll do that. Hey everybody, this is Sean from Napa IBS. He's the uh, he's our parts guy. I'm not a Gary Gitman either. Probably don't even have the right camera angle on you. I don't think he can see you. Oh yeah, I can see you. You're there. Hey, you don't have my consent. You're me out. I'm gonna tag you. I'm gonna put hashtag meth dealer. <laughs> I'll start getting phone calls. <laughs> Probably. You really get a YouTube channel? Yeah. Have to check it out. Scotty Z E B T. Scotty Z E B T. Yeah. Look it up. Look it up. Subscribe. Cool. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, dude, I will definitely comment. I bet you will. Two o'clock in the morning, you will get comments. You're gonna be commenting about how I have meth mouth. I was trying to figure out why you were talking to yourself. Oh. Now I know. So how long were you spying on me for? Maybe two or three minutes. Two or three minutes? Yeah. Just enough to get what you needed? I was waiting for you to look at me. Oh. Uh, I was over there. You didn't look at me. You were creeping on me, huh? I was creeping like, like a... Like a Jeffrey Esther? Like a Jared from Subway? Like a Jared from Subway?